Can you actually, for our listeners, explain a little bit more about the pay to play as it relates to the vaccines? Of course. Who who is he prioritizing in vaccine distribution? Yeah, you know, first it was, you know, first come, first serve for our seniors. Uh, Which makes sense. A lot of states went that way and they had the best initial um, results when it came to vaccines. Age based, first come, first serve. West Virginia did that, had the best initial of. A month of it. So did Florida. It was great. It was exactly the right answer. Nothing but success. All the data shows that just successful. Which was an absolute disaster. Total lie. Utter lie. Zero data to support that. Total lie. She just made that up. Uh, there was no state plan. There was no organization. There was no. It was a disaster because she couldn't control it. Note why it was a disaster. Not because it didn't work. I couldn't control all this stuff. <laughs> I mean, I'm out here feeding the state by myself, and all of a sudden I can't control this? Terrible. You're talking to your local Department of Health or your hospitals, he just said, you know, first come, first serve, and, and start distributing the vaccines. So that was the first disaster. And then... He- okay, right now, right now, at this moment, I'm sorry, not at this moment, I'm sure it's the same, though, but as of yesterday, the day that I got, as of yesterday, Florida has a higher percentage of vaccinated population than both New York and California. I don't know where your disaster is coming from. He started kind of getting smart and started realizing that he can have a political win um, by designating these vaccines to Republican areas, um, areas where he has seen, has can't let Republicans get vaccinated. <laughs> Republican areas, like you're gonna let Republicans get vaccinated? What's wrong with you? Come on, they don't get vaccines. Republicans received significant campaign contributions. Of course. Uh, We have three already documented areas here in our state where a vaccine pop-up site, we're calling them pop-up sites because they're they're not uh, organized. They they come at the last minute. Boy, she hates stuff that's not organized, doesn't she? But there was another governor in a northern state that did pop-up vaccine sites. Oh, right, mine, Cuomo. How come everything you say that he should have done, Cuomo did, yet Cuomo's a monster. How come you aren't saying that? It was because he had a press conference in that area and you know, three specific instances. We had one that was in- Okay, I thought you didn't want him on TV. You said, why isn't he on TV every day? Like some governors, oh, Cuomo's on TV every day, right? That's what you said. So he has a press conference. He wants to be on TV. So it's a pop-up so it can be on TV. Now it's bad. Well, it's re- Republicans. They don't deserve that. It's called Manatee County here in, in Florida, where it was two specific zip codes. And mm. the uh, county commissioner from that area created a VIP list that was there at the direction go. of the governor of who was going to get these vaccines. Well, the, the VIP list wasn't for the vaccines. The VIP list was for the press conference. You just said that. It was for the press conference. It was still first come, first serve. That didn't change, but she won't tell you that. It was still first come, first serve. The VIP list was for the press conference. And look at them laughing. Oh, I can't believe this guy gave Republican stuff. Look at them all righteous up top. Uh, Before everybody else. And exclusive zip codes, which happened to have been the wealthiest two zip codes in that See that? You rich people. And when the governor was questioned about it, he said, well, I can just move them to, to another place if you guys aren't happy with getting vaccines here. And yeah, because he wanted to do a press conference someplace. And meanwhile, the other part of town, the west part of town, it is really an underserved minority community. Of that had course no it is. It's an underserved minority community. Isn't it always? I mean, I, is it me? Or every time something's wrong now, it goes to underserved minority, bad white guy. Isn't it? I feel like it's always that now. Maybe I'm wrong, right? Maybe I'm maybe I'm becoming sensitive to it because I see so much of this. But I feel like it's always that. And you keep saying it to the point where it doesn't mean anything anymore. It you just keep it's like you just keep saying it to where it, it has no value. Someone's like, here we go again. And the problem is there actually are problems in poor communities, minority communities. There really are problems. But when you make every single thing about that, how many many crises can someone handle in their head? I know you think you're helping, or maybe you don't care, but you're not helping. You're making this worse by trying to be self-righteous. 
the reason why so many people can't stand this world is because you alienate so many people with your smugness. That's the issue.